Hi there and welcome back to MassiveSynth.com tutorials. Uh, for this month we're going to be doing something slightly different where we're going to be building up a tune over or an idea for a tune over the course of four tutorials and this being part one we're going to make the bass sound in Massive part two we're going to edit it and process it and make a sub to layer with the bass uh, part three we're going to make a lead to go on top of this bass line and then part four we're going to be doing the processing for the whole lot compressing all the layers and doing some mid side EQ just using Massive and kind of taking it into the realms of like finishing a track off using some third party plugins and uh, some kind of native plugins that I'll be using in Logic but won't be unique to Logic you'll have the similar sort of plugin in Cubase or Ableton so so yeah I'm going to start with this bass sound today uh, a kind of electro sort of style bass that you have here got a bit of funk to it as well so let's start off by creating a new sound and program the oscillators for oscillator 1 I'm going to be having a B pulse which I think is a hidden oscillator or waveform that you can't actually see on the digital hybrid but if you select the guitar pulse and then just click right you get the B pulse wave and we're going to take this, the pitch of this waveform or oscillator down by one octave keep the wavetable position all the way to the right and the amp on full it's just going to route to filter one I'm only going to be using one filter for this sound um, but this box here change this to bend minus and plus and then we get get a much kind of richer sort of tone with that that waveform and that oscillator there so pull the intensity to around about halfway and turn on oscillator 2 take the picture of this down by one octave as well and this is going to be a deep throat waveform and again wave table position all the way to the right I'm going to keep the well pull the amp down to around about halfway route it to filter one got quite a nice tone there I'm going to do the same thing there here with the bend minus plus pull the intensity down to about halfway So we've got quite a nice sort of solid electro tone there already. So um, what we can do next is set up the filter. I'm going to use a DAF filter, pull the resonance right down, keep the volume of the filter on full, and this mix slider, make sure it's all the way to mix one. I'm going to make the bass a little bit plucky as well. So pull the cutoff right down. I'm going to modulate this with an envelope. So go over to envelope 1 here and drag the crosshair of this to the first modul modulation slot on this cutoff frequency and turn the modulation amount up on full. And then do a bit more of a plucky envelope here. Maybe we back the attack off slightly. Keep the attack level on full, decay halfway, no sustain and release back all the way up. Right then, so next we can dial in some, oh actually we'll set the amp envelope and just pull the attack up so we've got a nice sharp attack on there. And yeah, let's set up some effects now, so go for a classic tube, push the drive up a little bit and the dry wet down that's just thickening the sound making it quite a rich sort of tone on there next up dimension expander and turn it on. and that's helping the sound quite quite a lot there just pull the size down a little bit and the and pull the dry wet down a bit as well put some EQ on there just boost the tops And now we can move over to this feedback section here, turn the feedback on, pull the amp up to about a quarter of the way, and in insert one we're going to use a sample and hold effect, and if you turn the pitch of this all the way on full, you get a really nice sort of top end on your sound.
makes it sound quite nasty and gritty but in a in a really nice way and that's the sound almost finished there actually we need to go over to the voicing section make it monophonic increase the voices to four and then we can move over to the glide section and just pull that glide down a little bit so just getting a subtle bit of glide in between the notes where they're sliding up and down and last one last thing with the sound was actually using this key track in here and um, I was going to modulate the the intensity of these oscillators I thought it sounded quite cool when you so it helps shape the kind of tone of the sound as these move around so rather than modulating these intensity slots with an envelope or an LFO I was thinking we could do it with the key tracking so you get the key tracking down here underneath the macro control drag it into the first modulation slot on both of these intensity knobs here and then just click and drag up to drag the, the modulation amount up a little bit do a kind of similar thing on both both the intensity knobs and then what this means now is when you play up and down the keyboard the the intensity amount will move up the higher the notes the more kind of your sort of knobs going up in this direction and the lower it will be kind of round here so you'll get a If I do this, you'll hear the, the effect a little bit more extremely. Which is quite nice when you're playing a riff, you're getting quite a nice bit of variation on each note you hit. Obviously, you could do this key tracking, we could affect the sound in different ways by using it to sort of modulate the LFO, and then you get different LFO rates when you press different keys on the keyboard. But I thought using it in this way was quite a cool way to sort of show you how to activate the key tracking in Massive and use it in sort of quite a creative way really. So there's our sound. So yeah, that was part one of this four part tutorial. Uh, about making kind of a bass sound and editing it and processing it and adding a lead and stuff uh, and using Massive as much as possible. So make sure you come and check us out for part two where we're going to be exporting this into audio and making a sub in Massive and processing those sounds. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions then get in touch. And thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.